the king of the baby ballet castle in the sky, which is where I am now. I'm here today to tell you a story. Tell me, do you like stories? Dear, I seem to be going a bit deaf. I said, do you like stories? Oh, <laughs> I definitely heard you that time. You do like stories. Oh, I am glad. <laughs> Welcome to my story time. I'm so glad that you could come. It's wonderful to see you here. We're going to have so much fun. But it's no good me just sitting here. You know just what to do. Settle down into your beds. I've a story here for you. This one's called A Trip to the Beach. Tell me, have you ever been to the beach? Have you? Well, if you have been to the beach, then you know just how much fun it can be. <laughs> On this particularly sunny day, I was sound asleep in my bed in the castle in the sky when I heard a big commotion outside. Crash, bang, thud, all sorts of noises were coming from the hallway. <laughs> I peered out and there was Chuck and Twinkle and Teddy and they had all sorts of things with them that they had just dropped on the floor. <laughs> there were buckets and spades, uh, rubber rings and a kite and a picnic. I asked them where they were off to and do you know where they told me they were going? Can you guess? <laughs> That's right! They're going to the beach. Well, I was just so excited, I jumped for joy and quickly got myself ready to go. When we got there, Fluttersar had set all our chairs up and she was already flying her own kite high up into the sky. <laughs> we all joined in with our kite too and oh my! What a rainbow there was! Red and yellow, pink and blue, purple, all the colours you can think of. <laughs> then we built the biggest sandcastle you have ever seen. It was nearly as big as the baby ballet castle in the sky. <laughs> in fact, it was so big Flutterstar had to flow up and put the flag in the top. <laughs> Thank goodness she was there. <laughs> By then we were very hungry, so I unpacked our yummy picnic for everyone. My goodness, little stars, we had all sorts. Sandwiches, fairy cakes, strawberries and of course pink porridge for Twinkle and Teddy. <laughs> After lunch we all decided to dip our good toes in the sea, although Chuck decided to hop, skip and jump into the sea and splashed us all. <laughs> oh Chuck! <laughs> we didn't mind though. After all, it was all just so much fun. We counted the waves as we jumped over them. One, two, three, four, five! Yes! Five big waves! <laughs> we all held hands and splished and splashed all afternoon. <laughs> By then the sun was getting ready to go to bed, so we decided we had better head back to the castle too. So we packed up and set off home, happy and with our good toes all covered in sand. <laughs> when we all got back to the castle in the sky, we couldn't stop yawning. We were just so tired after all the fun we had had that day. So after supper, we got our pyjamas on, brushed our teeth 
and settled down to listen to the baby ballet lullaby. <laughs> Whilst we snuggled in our beds, closed our eyes and drifted off to sleep, we dreamt of all the baby ballet fun we would have tomorrow. Oh, now, wasn't that wonderful, boys and girls? <laughs> and we hope your grown-ups loved it too. <laughs> But now my story is over. And, oh, 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 excuse me. I'm so tired too. But I'll see you again soon, baby ballet stars. But for now, it's time for me to say goodbye from here in the baby ballet castle in the sky. Close your eyes and snuggle up tight. All of you, a magical good night. We're all very tired, but we know that this will pass. It's the end of the day at the baby ballet class. We wave goodbye again and curtsy as we pass.